Hello and welcome to the CX Files podcast. I'm your host, Mark Hillary. Every year, Ryan Strategic Advisory publishes their list of the top five most favored offshore contact center delivery points. The research for 2020 is being announced by Peter Ryan simultaneously with the publication of this special edition of the podcast. So if you can hear this now, then the results are now public. In this edition of the podcast, Peter describes the new top five and how he conducted this new research. Okay, Peter, thanks for, for getting on the podcast. This is a, a special bonus episode going out um, simultaneously with the announcement of your 2020 front office BPO Omnibus survey. So, so if, if people are downloading this just as it was published, then, then this survey has just been announced live. Um, before we go through the top five countries named in the survey, could you just tell us a little bit about the research? How did you do it? How many people did you talk to? That kind of thing. Absolutely, Mark, and thank you once again for hosting me on the CX Files and for giving the CX Files the opportunity to talk a little bit about the results as they pertain to the top five most favored offshore customer experience delivery locations in the world. So to answer your question about the demography of the survey, uh, Mark, what we did this year was we increased the size of our sample. You'll remember that in 2019, we spoke to just under 500 individuals who have uh, exclusive strategic decision-making responsibility for their contact center operations within different national markets. We decided that we were going to increase the sample this year once again, and this year we spoke to 540 enterprise contact center decision makers. They were in seven different countries. Now, Mark, you'll recall in last year's survey, we spoke to decision makers in Canada, the United States, Australia, the UK, uh, as well as Germany and France. This year we added a seventh country in the form of Spain, and the respondents came from a multitude of different industries, approximately 12 sectors, ranging all the way from traditional users of outsourced contact center services, such as retail banks and the telco space, all the way through to digital enterprises, travel and tourism, and e-commerce. Okay, that's fantastic. So it's a good spread then, um, uh, geographically and across different yeah. industries. So, I mean, uh, what, who were the top five then? Well, let's count down from five all the way through to one. We'll, we'll bring the suspense levels to new heights. So, Mark, coming in at number five was Poland. Now, this is important because Poland and really the, the Central European nearshore has never cracked the top five before. This was the first opportunity that they uh, did so, and we're delighted to include them in the top five most favored offshore customer experience locations, as denoted by the respondents in the seven different countries. In fourth place, we have Malaysia. Now, you'll remember, Mark, that Malaysia has been a mainstay in the top five since the Omnibus survey began in 2017. Uh, Malaysia certainly, I think, retains a great deal of value as a nearshore delivery point for consumers in Australia and New Zealand. It's also, I think, achieved a lot in regards to its positioning as a location where very high-value, value-add services can be delivered from for key demand markets around the world. In the third spot, we have the Philippines. Now, the Philippines, you'll recall, was in first place in 2019 as well as in 2018. This year, it goes into third. We will certainly, I think, uh, speak to the fact that the Philippines d delivers a great deal of value for the consumers in the Anglosphere, especially in North America, in the UK, and in Australia, those Anglo countries have participated in our survey and is well known as a great point of delivery for anything revolving around customer experience and technical support. In second place for a second year in a row, we have South Africa. Now, South Africa has uh, performed very, very well across most of the locations in, that we surveyed this year in terms of the key demand markets. Uh, it performed especially well in the Anglosphere. What we will also speak to is the fact that South Africa really, I think, more proactively than any other location when it comes to promoting itself as a BPO destination of choice for offshore demand markets has been very aggressive with trade missions going into Australia, the United Kingdom, and North America over a number of different occasions over the past 18 months, this is definitely bearing fruit. Uh, 
And in the number one top spot this year, and I feel like I'm on BBC Top of the Pops back in the day announcing what the number one hit was for that week. But for the number one most favored offshore customer experience delivery location in the world for 2020, Mark, I'm pleased to announce it's India. India goes from second place to first place. It tied for second last year with South Africa, and it moves into first place. India has a renewed focus on customer experience offshoring, whether it's being delivered in-house or if it's being delivered for an outsourcer. It has really, I think, found its niche as a location of choice, especially for digital delivery, digital interface delivery for consumers who are choosing non-voice methods. And we are absolutely delighted to be able to welcome India to the top spot in this year's survey for the Ryan Strategic Advisory Front Office BPO Omnibus Survey. That's fantastic. Um, I think what's really interesting there is, is some of the movement around the top five, but then also Poland entering the top yeah. five. What, 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 what was um, specifically great about Poland this year then that, that put them in the top five? It's interesting that you you asked that, Mark, because Poland has always done well over the course of the Omnibus survey, as long as I've been doing it since 2017. As we say, it's the first year that it's cracked into the top five. But anecdotally, we've been picking up a lot of interest at Ryan Strategic Advisory and the research we're doing when it comes to the European nearshore, especially from the perspective of Central and Eastern Europe delivery points. Um, Poland, I think, certainly has been one of the longest serving locations where offshore or nearshore customer experience has been delivered for locations such as Germany, uh, the UK, as well as to some degree France and to Spain. Uh, but what's interesting too is we also picked up a lot of interest for Poland in some of the English speaking markets too from, from different parts of the world. So I think it's very much viewed as a location of choice when it comes to CX, it's lo location of choice that's got a great deal of variance and a great deal of variety when it comes to different languages. And it's also seen as a place where a great deal of value can be derived as it tends to have a lower price point than other parts of the perhaps the key demand markets. Uh, at the same time, it has a great uh, deal of scalability in its population and a number of different cities from where CX can be delivered from. It's great. And then, of course, the number one spot being India this year. And I suppose, you know, a lot of analysts felt that India's proposition was getting slightly tired because they've been at this for a long time now. Um, but, but clearly not. They're clearly, they're clearly shining still. No, exactly. And I think the reports of India's decline as a CX delivery point were truly exaggerated. What I think deserves a lot of credit is the fact that the providers and the different BPO stakeholders that are based in India and are performing this type of work really determined what they had to do in order to remain relevant as part of this broader offshoring CX discussion. And they made it happen. India, as we've talked about, has become synonymous with digital non-voice delivery. Uh, there's still a great deal of voice that goes on from India as well. The, the, Indian, the Indian contact center sector has been doing this longer than any other sector in the world. And what I think is really shining through is the fact that they've known what to do in order to remain pertinent, to remain relevant, and to remain part of the broader discussion when it comes to what's truly a, a, a very global industry. Okay, Peter, that's great. Thanks for the update. And I'll put a link to how to get hold of you and the research in the show notes. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much again for the opportunity, Mark. And can I wish all your listeners the chance to stay healthy and to stay safe as we get through this current COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks for listening to the CX Files podcast. Please take a moment to review the podcast because this helps other listeners to find it. And if you have any suggestions, then get in touch with me on Twitter or LinkedIn. I'm at Mark Hillary with two L's. Or just search Google for Mark Hillary.